What's up, buddy? Okay, in this video, it's going to be very quick. I'm going to show you how to do the description section of your listing. Let's go. Okay, so your description section of your listing is right here, your product description. Maximum 2,000 characters, so Amazon has compressed this. You don't really get a lot of space. So I have three different strategies I use here. And again, you can split test them, see if any of them catch, if, see if anyone comments on on any of the details you put in this area. To be honest, a lot of people, a lot of people I've talked to really just put two sentences in here. Um, but I figure, you know what, let's figure out how we can optimize that space of our listing. So I've created three uh, strategies for product listing. Product description. Okay, so first thing is with this particular space, you can use basic uh, HTML. Uh, so I found this HTML editor online uh, that is good. And let's pop it on here because you can bold it. Uh, you know, you can uh, make bullets. I believe you can do bullets. I've seen some people put put emojis in there as well. I'm not 100% sure if those stick or not. It's very basic as far as the HTML that you can do in, in there. Um, but here are the three strategies I use, Josh. First one is you can, your, your initial listing isn't going to have any testimonials. You're not gonna have any reviews at all until you start going and soliciting a few to get people to write you a few. And then as your product sells, and you solicit for sales, uh, you solicit your sales for reviews, um, you know, they're gonna start to trickle in. Um, and then ultimately, if you use a product like Kibli, um, Kibli is a customer service software, costs 37 bucks a month, but that's a company that will tie into your Amazon account and s automate that process for you and send out um sales letters uh quick email messages that will actually get your customer to review your product um so but we're talking about you don't have any right now so one strategy i figure is why not create a product testimonial for your listing uh, one or two of them just depends on how big the testimonial is that you want to put on there how I do that or what I recommend is simply go to someone else's listing that's selling the product like you go look at their reviews then go to their five-star reviews and copy a fairly recent one say like this great travel companion you know you can read it these bands work as they should you know blah 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 um, I also suggest Look at the ones that people found helpful. Four people found this helpful. That's not a lot of people. Three people, four people, two people, three people. You know, three people found this helpful. Sometimes you'll find ones that are like 30 people found this helpful. Those are the ones you want. Okay. Uh, basic bands, graduating, difficulty, so far good quality. So there you go. I like this one by Loana. So we're going to take this. We're going to highlight it up to there. We'll leave the emote. You can, you can try to get these in. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's try. We, we, I don't know. that. No, it's not. We're not going to be able to get those five stars. But like I said, you can try adding it on your phone. Uh, emojis into that section later on. So copy the... Copy the um, the review go to your editor page or sorry go to go to this link I'm going to put it in the description below HTML dash online dot com click on editor we want to create a, an HTML version of this on this side you're going to paste in what it is and it's going to convert it on this side let's clean that up now 
these got links and stuff you can't use the links so we ones that say like verified purchase you got to get rid of that you got to type in her name Iona Iona on September 27th and then we'll just type in this because again you can't use links great basic band loops with gradual increasing difficulty oh shit and like I said you don't get a lot of characters you get 2,000 there we go so now we're gonna clean this up on this side okay we are going to add a space we are going to bold this line we are going to italicize this line um I'm really you could even say like here you could go testimonial there you go now that's on this side let's go clean it up one more time okay wants me to join it together we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna go over here and paste it if you have too many characters it won't allow you to paste everything in there there you go you have two you have enough characters the value specified is invalid see and that's where you like playing with this you're like okay what on here is not allowed strong strong um so maybe italics is not allowed <laughs> like it's really a basic editor it's so terrible i don't know why they got rid of it i think maybe server space let's take off italics clean it up okay let's add in a space see if that works <clears throat> The value specified is invalid. So let's go back and clean it up again. And there you go. Oh, it almost had it. I don't know what happened there. It might be the amount of words I have. So let's see if I have too many words. all this and put on value specified is there strong division go testimonial I'm just doing a video for Josh Hi, what did you say? nothing yet let's try this again Maybe it's this and NSP Bowie. I don't know what that is. There we go. Let's try that. It's so basic that you pretty much can't have anything. But a testimonial here may get you sales as they go by. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. This should work. Product description the value specified is invalid. Yeah. I gotta find like a video that gives me better information on this. Because it should be, it should work. It's here. You'll have a chance later on to enter condition, price, and others. So they want you to obviously enter in product-related features here. So you know, it's your. You could say you're infringing on their terms and policy by doing this, but I would put it in there. And again, 
you can do HTML for some reason I can't figure out what's going on here you should be able to do basic HTML um, maybe it's my bold that I'm using because it says strong it shouldn't say strong it should say B let's go with no bold for now I think strong has to be turned into B. And then B end. I think this one has to be a B. B. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Let's try this. Um, did I get it? No. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm terrible with HTML. As you can see, I use an online editor, but it's such a big, you can use it. Mine does have it. Um, I'll have to go back and refer to what I did that got it on there. You can use, you're supposed to be able to use bold and italic, um, and a space. <laughs> it's very, very basic. But once you can figure that out, if you can figure it out, it looks more visually appealing I usually do the three like I said the first thing I do is I highlight a product testimonial so I'll get someone's testimonial that has been getting a lot of um, good feedback um, I'll use it uh, and I'll do it temporary I'll keep that one on there for like until I get my own once I get my own then I'll take that one out here and then I'll create a FAQ page there so I'll get maybe two or three concerns that people have by again going back and reading the um, reviews uh, and or what I'll do sorry not the reviews what I'll do to get the FAQs is I'll go to a product listing and where it says let's just close this okay so beside customer reviews you got answered questions look for a seller that has like maybe 20 or 30 if you can uh, because you're gonna get more um, more of the same question asked by multiple people and that's how you'll know it's a popular FAQ because you only have a couple that you can put in there so this guy has eight Let's see if anyone else has a lot more a bunch of reviews no questions Best sellers usually have them, so this guy has 12. So, so now here's your FAQs. What do the bands really look like? It's so different from what others have posted. Why don't you post real pictures? <laughs> so you're gonna get assholes who freaking post shit like that. Hilarious. How long are these bands? So there you go. There's a good FAQ. Um, four answers. So that's a popular one. Oh man, no, the max tension of the bands. That's a good one. So that's how you'll get your FEQs is you can pick a couple out of there, give brief answers to them, and you can post that in the description section as well. That could be your second one after you've gotten some testimonials of your own. Then you can take the testimonial off and go create your own FEQs. Uh, and then the third strategy is just to add more bullet points, more features. That's what Amazon wants you to do. They just want you to add more bullet points in there. But the problem is they just completely remove anything that makes it appealing to read and they, and they hide it. Um, so that's why a lot of people just ignore what they want you to do and they just do their own thing. Like with product description, like look at this guy. So he's been able to bold drop downs. He's been able to put a lot more content in here. Like, that's definitely more than 2,000 characters, that's for sure. So, he may have been grandfathered fathered in with this amount of um, characters. He's even put in an email address, which is against Amazon's terms of policies. When you're messaging customers, if this were in there, they would literally wipe it out. So, the fact that he has it on there is just... Uh, um, to his benefit for sure. 
So that's the simple angle for doing your description, Josh. Uh, any questions there, shoot me a message and I will help you out.